Now the Hittites, this is always on one of the groups, the Hittites and the Horites, were the two groups in Genesis that have always been challenged by historians. Because no one's ever, ever had, no one heard about these people called the Hittites. And that was until they came across these artifacts. As you can now see, the Hittites no longer uh, are a mystery. We now know that they actually had a kingdom for about a thousand years in basically where you grew up, just over to the east, in southern Anatolia, to Syria, and the western parts of Lebanon. They were actually invented the chariots. And that's why the Romans borrowed their whole warfare chariots from the Hittites, who were more uh, people that rode on horses. They invented chariots, and then of course the others borrowed their armies. But the Hittites were used by God right through history because the descendants of the Hittites were the Medes. The Medes were the descendants of the Hittites. And remember, it was Darius the Mede that destroyed Babylon in 539 under the authority of Cyrus the Great. But it was Darius the Mede who God used to destroy Babylon, and he reprophesied that in Isaiah chapter 45, where he talked about Cyrus and referred that he would come to destroy Babylon. But then we need to ask yourself, who are the descendants of the Medes today? Who do you think they are? Who would be the people that you know? Let's see if anybody else knows. Who would be the people today that have come from the, the Medes and the Hittites? Any idea? That part of the world? Turkey? No, it's Turkey, but who are the people? Not the Turks. The Kurds. The Kurds are the direct descendants of the Medes. And if you go to any Kurd and ask them where their history goes to, they always go back to Muhammad. That's as far as they go. And I, you need to say to them, shame on you. Don't ever stop with Muhammad. You have a much greater history than you realize. You are the people that have come from the great empire of the Hittites. You have, you ruled the world for a thousand years. You were the one that invented the chariots. You invented modern warfare. More than that, God used you by destroying Babylon, the great city of Babylon. That's your history as well. But even something more exciting, in the first century, you were the first Christians. Because remember on the day of Pentecost, who were some of the first Christians were the Medes. You are some of the first Christians. I say to my first friends, you have no right to go back to Muhammad. You need to be telling me about my Lord, because you were actually, your people were Christians long before my people were Christians. You have a great history. Don't ever just go back to Muhammad. Go right on back and reclaim your identity. And I think we need to tell this to the Kurds. They need to reclaim that identity, because they have a rich identity. God has used a wonderful history, and I hope I know it's going to be used Good stuff. So it's great now that we've discovered it. No longer are these questions, no longer these are mysterious, legendary people. They did exist. The Bible has them down there. We can now trust them. Now, we've gone through the Assyrian period. We've gone through the Babylonian period. We're going to just finish off the Persian period from the 60th century. And to do that, we're just going to come over here.